Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a closer look at Stirling's approximation. Why do we need Stirling's approximation? Well, it turns out in statistical thermodynamics, sometimes we work with enormously big numbers. And when the number of microstates gets to be quite large, and it doesn't even have to be all that large to get us into trouble, for example, let's say you're trying to find 100 factorial. Try it on your calculator and it won't work. And of course, W represents the number of microstates. So if the number of microstates reaches 100, how do you calculate the 100 factorial and then you want to take the natural log of that? Hmm, how do you do that? Well, Stirling's approximation is what you need. So, <coughs> excuse me. So here we have an approximation for n factorial. Notice that it's approximately equal to n to the n power times e to the minus n power times the square root of 2 pi to the n power, uh, 2 pi n. Or if you want to be really accurate, when n is small, notice you only need this when it's small, you can add an additional correction factor of 1 plus 1 over 12 n. Typically, when n gets to be big enough, you really don't need that anymore. So what you can do now is take the natural log of both sides. Why would you want to do that? Well, notice here. The natural log of a times b is equal to the natural log of a plus the natural log of b. The natural log of a divided by b is the natural log, natural log of a minus the natural log of b. And the natural log of a to the b power is equal to b times the natural log of a. And you can see that this works very nicely. The log of 1,000 divided by 100 is equal to the log of 1,000 minus the log of 100. The log of 1,000 is 3. The log of 100 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. And of course, 1,000 divided by 100 is 10. And the log of 10 is also 1. So you can see it works quite nicely. So we need those rules when we do this. We're going to take the natural log of both sides. So we have the natural log of n factorial equals the natural log of the product of these three factors. And just as we saw before, we can then separate them as the natural log of n to the n plus the natural log of e to the minus n plus the natural log of 2 pi n to the 1 half power. And then using the rule of exponents, we bring the exponents to the front. So the natural log of n factorial equals n times the natural log of n minus n times the natural log of e plus 1 half times the natural log of 2 pi n. And of course, the natural log of e is simply 1, so minus n times the natural log of e simply changes to minus n. So we have a nice equation that helps us find, in a very easy way, the natural log of n factorial without having to do n factorial on your calculator. Of course, if n is small, you may want to add this additional term in there, plus the natural log of 1 plus 1 over 12n. But notice, if n is 100, that's essentially equal to 1, so you really don't need that. And of course, the natural log of 1 is 0, so it doesn't add anything. So as an example, the natural log of 100 factorial is 100 times the natural log of 100, minus 100, plus half times the natural log of 2 times 100 times pi, which is 200 pi. Grab your calculator, you calculate these three terms, 460 minus 100 plus 3, essentially. So you see that this is almost 364. The natural log of 100 factorial is equal to 364. And if you try to calculate this separately, take 100 factorial, you can't do it with your calculator, you wouldn't be able to figure this out. Now, let's say we have the equation here where the entropy is equal to Boltzmann's constant times the natural log of W the factorial of w. w, of course, representing the number of microstates. And if we have 100 microstates, then this becomes Boltzmann's constant times the natural log of 100 factorial. Now, we know with Stirling's approximation, this is equal to about 364. And so when we multiply, we get this number for the entropy in the case where there's 100 microstates. Notice, much easier using Stirling's approximation. If the number of microstates is small, then you probably want to go ahead and make sure you add this additional term. But otherwise, you don't need it, and you can do without it. And that is how it's done. <laughs> Thank you.